Hi guys, how you guys doing? Uh, you guys are watching Andy WTH. I'm Andy. Uh, Big Brother edition, of course. But before we start on that, uh, as many of you may know, uh, we have a big fire out in Alberta, uh, uh, Fort McMurray. Uh, huge fire. A lot of people has been displaced. There's like about 1,600 homes and business gone. Half the half the city is gone. And unfortunately, we had one death. Uh, a young lady, about 16, 15 years old. Uh, she died as she was exiting the city. It was a traffic accident, and unfortunately, she didn't make it. Our condolences to the family. Uh, you know, it could have been worse, but when even one life is is bad enough. Anyways, like I said, all our thoughts are, are there, and the fire is still going quite strong. And uh, anyways, if you guys can help out anyway, you know, uh, by all means, donate to. Uh, Red Cross, the uh, website is uh, www.redcross.ca. Uh, uh, donate wherever you can. And uh, even if you just go to the grocery store, there's a lot of uh, retailers are putting, uh, you know, you can donate some money there. Uh, you know, just by all means do it. Just remember, okay, for every dollar that is donated, Canadian government is going to match it. So basically you're donating $2 for every dollar that you donate. And some businesses actually even have, uh, they will match the donations up to a set amount of money. So basically your dollar could become $3, depending on uh, which retailer you go to, because some retailers actually do match what the customers give as well. All right, so anyway, so that's that's about it on uh, Fort McMurray, and uh, let's hope uh, things are going to cool down soon. They need rain. All right, so let's get right down to uh, Big Brother Canada, like uh, all right, we'll give you a little bit of a recap what uh, what has happened this week, uh, which many of you already know, just like uh, my last one there. Uh, Kelsey won. She won the HOH. She is the HOH of the week. And during her uh, week, uh, she decided, of course, smart move, put up Kim and Kelsey. Okay, they were working together. And, of course, during this whole process, nobody yet still did not know about the freak show, which we were able to keep it. Pretty tight lip until uh, Tim the uh, slip of the lip, as they say. But anyways, that was not good for Joel, and I think he's gonna he ultimately paid the price at the end. But anyways, let's get right down to it. So Tim won uh, veto, which the veto competition. I'll explain how it went. Uh, everybody was competing. the The whole thing was about show me uh, that they have to put up like uh, videos or movies, right? In or in certain order. And then you have to jump into this big popcorn uh, dish, if you want. I know my son would love that because he loves popcorn. And anyways, so they had to jump in there and they had to find the CDs that match the shows and had to put them in order. So, all right. So, there's a little uh, thing about the uh, the alliance, the between Tim, Kelsey, and Joel, the Freak Alliance, I guess, is Joel was com convinced the brothers and Kelsey to help him win the veto because he wanted to win the veto, and which was the best case scenario, to pull one of them off. Then the brothers would have been forced to be up. All right. So he forgot to mention that to his Freak Show Alliance, that he's going to convince those people to give him the movies that he needed to put in order. You know what I mean? So as this competition was going on, uh, Tim and uh, Cass was sitting there looking like, hey, wait a minute, what's going on here? Uh, he's working with them. Okay, it looked like he, he was working with them. It didn't look too good as far as, because they didn't know what he was doing, because he kind of forgot to tell them that, which was kind of a, that's where it kind of hurt him at the end. But anyway, so of course, Tim got mad or whatever. And he ended up winning the competition. So he beat everybody. He got the veto. He pulls himself off. Of course, Joel went up. And, of course, Joel, uh, you know, he forgot why he was there. Okay? He thought, you know, he was feeling bad. Oh, oh my God, I left my alliance down and all this stuff. Well, you know what? You're there to play to win the money. You got nominated. Fight for your life. And he really didn't. Uh, he pretty much threw himself under the bus, as far as I'm concerned, and uh, he made up very little effort. But now Cass, on the other hand, 
she should have been the one that went home this week. Okay, she was probably the more dangerous of the two. But he, she did her thing. She was able to convince people like the brothers and Kelsey to keep her in the game and vote out Joe because Joe was playing. She started, you know, she made Joe look less untrustworthy. So he got voted out. He's at the jury house, and Cass is still in the house, which was absolutely really nice to see. Uh, now this is who's left: Tim, Cass, the brothers, and Kelsey. Now, out of all of them, that has the less chance of winning in the final two, in my opinion, is Kelsey. And you know, I've been wrong up to now. I mean, the, the main week I was, gonna, I said that uh, Cass was going to go, and Joel went. So. Who knew? So, anyways, the only reason I'm saying Cass is the uh, weakest of them all. Remember, she had a second chance to get in in the game and play. So, and she had a huge advantage. She had a lot of information that she could use, while the others didn't. So that might not play well with the jury. Now, the brothers have a chance. Their, their chances are fairly high because. They've only been nominated once. They went two age races. They're pretty competitive. Now, uh, Cass, her gameplay was like um, Dr. Will Kirby, if you want, somewhat. Not as good, but somewhat. Uh, she could win on us on strategic, the way she played strategically. Winning is not her strong point in competition. So that's her game. And then Tim, come on, what can we say about Tim? Tim played, uh, as far as I'm concerned, a masterful game. Uh, you know, he should have been voted out. They should have nominated a long time ago and get him out. And the guy won the freaking thing in Australia. But for whatever reason, they kept him in the game. And he was a big threat. And they didn't seem to see it. They, they were all, like, looking at everybody else in the house. He kind of just faded in the background, but yet playing everybody. You know, absolutely amazing. He was able to plant seeds throughout the game. So his game was more consistent than anybody else in the game. So he should win if he makes it to the final two, but he may not win because he's Australian and the jury may not vote an outsider to win. So anyways, and of course, spoiler alert, the brothers won HOH. So okay, so big deal. They got no power anyways. All they guarantee them is the final three. So we know we got one player in the final three, the brothers. Now, basically, the veto is everything now. So whoever wins the veto will decide who goes home. They got the power. So it doesn't matter who they nominate the next day or two, them two, because it has absolutely no bearing. So that's my uh, my, my spiel. And uh, listen up. I'm going to be putting the, uh, the uh, website for uh, Red Cross on the bottom, and I'm going to put it up in the corner here. And uh, so just if you can, donate. And if you like what you see, please subscribe, and we'll talk to you later. My name is Andy, and you're watching Andy WTH. Thank you. Bye.